Hey everybody, welcome to this Friday evening live stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What a World Championship individual time trial that was, that we just witnessed. If you haven't seen it, don't worry, I won't spoil it. Someone else would probably do that for me in the chat. I cannot, I cannot take uh, responsibility. How's everybody doing? Yes, it's pretty warm in here, I must admit. It's, um, I'm warm enough at the minute without a fan on. Only been riding for seven minutes at like 115 beats per minute and I'm dripping in sweat. I'll put the fan on in a minute. We have about how much? It's probably about 20 degrees in this room. Uh, but obviously there's no airflow, really. So, it's quite a small room. If you're new here, it's quite a small room, so. Someone I know coming the other way. Oh, it's Steph. I wonder if I can catch her up. Part of my warm up. Top level for athlete right there, by the way. Sorry, where was it? Good evening, Matthias. Do I ever analyze my heart rate? Well, put it this way. I always ride with a heart rate monitor. Um, it's very useful having it. Very useful. Oh Lord! Hello. Yes, it's very close, isn't it? <laughs> it's very close. Good timing with the hill climbs, right? Nice when it ticks over and we can celebrate it a little bit. Francis Kidd also going 250,000, I think. I saw uh, I saw him share on Instagram. Nice one, Mr. Kid. Ten minutes until the race start. Is that a ride on from Anthony, I wonder? <laughs> it must be warm more than 20 degrees here, because I'm, I am actually bubbling with sweat. I think I'll have to have my fan on full power tonight, everyone. So I apologize for the, the noise. It is actually because my microphone is that sensitive. <laughs> it will pick up everything. Including my pee stops. Hey Trey, so, <laughs> so close. <sighs> so close. Steph must be doing some uh, steady state riding or warming up. 
holding three watts per kilo. Hey up. We have a donut fan tagging along here. Good evening, hello, welcome. A KOM race. We're in for a treat. I'm not, but you are. <laughs> ah. All is well. All is well. Ah, oh, so if you don't know this race, I shall uh, probably I shall probably fill you in. Uh, this race is going to be approximately 55 minutes at the Innsbruck KOM after party, I think it's called. So we do three laps of the uh, small loops, small laps, Innsbruck ring, leg snappers, and then we turn onto the main climb. Have a guess. Have a guess. Here's a trivia for you, trivia, trivia. Have a guess, the last time I did this race, the last time I did the Innsbruck KOM after party race. If you think, if you think about it, it hasn't been that recent, so put your rough guesses below, Mon month and year. Thank you, Niall. <coughs> I don't think I'll be able to replicate that TT last night, tonight. <laughs> but it's all good fun. <laughs> okay, we've got eight minutes. I'm cooling off a little bit now, which is nice. Hang on, what? what? It's August 2023 now, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, time's up. <laughs> the last time I did this was actually in December. Well, it was definitely late in the year, so I think it was December 2021. So, uh, yeah, most of you picked the right year. It's a long time ago. And weirdly, it's one of my favorites. Um, but I don't know, am I right in thinking there's very few events? Um, I don't know, but I've, I've not done it in a long, long time, so. No, I'm not using them, uh, Kieran. I don't have them, I just have old fashioned Logitech keyboard. Speaking of which, there's a portal there. I've never done the portal. I kind of no idea what happens now, but getting closer. What's going to happen? Someone's just come out of it. Crow Road. Oh, this is weird. Oh, okay. Overall progress. Who's the ghost then? That ghost is in front of us. Who's that? Is that a pacer? Or is it a... Or is that the fastest... Is that the fastest rider? Appears as a ghost. Is that how it works? Interesting. No, I'm not using steering either. A few people have told me I need to, apparently. 
That's one extra thing I've, I've got to worry about <laughs> when I'm riding. That's the reason why I ride indoors, everyone, is so I don't have to think about things like that. <laughs> oh, look at that. So it breaks down and the kilometre averages as well. So 2.7%, 7.7, 5.7. Forgive me, I'm quite naive with things like this because unless I'm actually on Zwift regularly, I don't tend to see much of what's happening. So it's quite refreshing when I take a break and jump back in and, and kind of these new things have appeared. So. It looks okay, doesn't it? I mean, could be interesting for hill climbs. Hmm. Can you still do a U-turn in here? Oh my word. What happens if we ride outside then? <laughs> Better hurry up, we've only got three minutes till the start of this race. But I want to get out of this portal to see what it's like. That's like a Super Mario noise when he goes through a pipe. Blip, 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 blip. Well, not quite, but... Okay, let's join this event. Can you hear me okay? I don't really want you to be able to hear me that well, because it'll be... Uh, There'll be some heavy breathing going on in this last, last, uh, last climb. So, bike choice. Uh, I gonna stick with a Tron, right? Don't know. What do you think? How's the national prep going? Well, um, I mean, nothing to report yet, really. I mean, uh, nothing extra to report other than what's on my videos. <clears throat> um, I mean, so so. I mean, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's okay. Nothing amazing, but very early days, so. No breakthroughs yet, but I don't expect any yet, anyways. I'm glad I started early, actually. Um, and I had it, I had it marked in the calendar that August would be like my start anyway, so I'm glad I started early enough that I've got time. I want to say like, pre I mean, technically I've been prepping all year, but in terms of getting specific and Uh, yes, I've got some events. Unfortunately, one's already been cancelled because apparently there's road road works happening on it, and I, and I was just like, what? Like, you know, they've got all year to do road works, and they just choose this one weekend. This, it's almost like councils deliberately don't want cycle events to happen. And, I don't know. Um, but there we are. It is what it is. Um, yeah, I've got a couple booked. I haven't entered yet. Uh, I don't think I'm going to tell people which ones I'm doing, other than the organisers. 
to keep it a bit more hush hush than I have done in the past. Anyway, I lay up. Most of us are on trons. I wonder if we'd be caught by the B cats, because there's not many of us in A cat tonight. Wouldn't be a bad thing, obviously, if we're caught by bees. Bigger group, a bit more um, dynamic in the race. <coughs> Banner climb is 100 plus 9. <laughs> Aim to win all segments. Um, I think it's more going to be like a social thing, to be honest. Oh, look. Work, work, work. Spiky Mikey's here. Yeah. It's a bit of a shame that there is only uh, seven riders in the A group, but saying that, you never know. It only takes two riders to make a good race, remember that. <laughs> Ed Lavrat, 2023. <laughs> Anyway, it's nice that it's not eyeballs out from the start anyway, because it gives us a little bit more to give at the end. <laughs> We're not going to complain. Top 10, if I'm careful, a top 10 finish should be achievable. Oh, we've not really chatted about it then. Um, well, ideally, I would just use the climb as a max effort. Um, but when I say max, I mean a paced effort. So not necessarily like flat out the whole way, but trying to, trying to finish fast or finish hard, but, but not completely blowing up. So something in between flat out and a time trial would be nice. But... Um, we'll see. I do find though that when the group is this small, it's very easy to get dropped because like you switch off a little bit because you think you think ah oh, this will be you know this will be fine you know you just ride with the group and no problems but it can get away from you quite quickly. Sheridan is uh, dancing with death there uh, between us and the Shadow Realm. Oh, he's back.
Oh, he's going straight through. Japanese rider is happy to ride over for Watts for Kibble. You'd be a Hang on, a Japanese rider is pushing on. Yama is pushing on. I'm gonna stay in the line. And use his raft to cruise even more. My ideal scenario here would be that one rider goes away. That would create a nice dynamic um, where the rest of us look at each other and you know the rider gets a decent lead onto the final climb and then it comes down to the wire. That would be a nice little way to spice things up but also give you extra motivation so we'll see although we've got the leg snapper coming up and we always know there's damage there. Spiky Mikey gets his name from somewhere. Five second gap now for Yama. Six seconds. Ten seconds out of the time we get to the bottom of this like snapper. We should definitely hold the hill climb on that on that climb we did the day before Pollock. Uh, Michael. Alright, decent little gap now for the right out front, 12 seconds. And we'll have this on the leg snapper. Six watts per kilo for the front now.
Oh, well, that looked a bit painful, it was. Definitely got that time trial last night in my legs. But it's no excuse, I mean, it should still be okay. Just it was a bit of a shock there. Got up that climb. And then, it was kind of okay because once, once we crested over it, we could see that, like basically it was four riders all on their own with like two or three seconds gap between them. So you could see, kind of like as long as they weren't all together, it wasn't such a panic. Um, so it's more if they get away as a group, that's a worry, but obviously they gotta kind of, kind of try and do the bare minimum, which is very difficult to do. Hey, thank you, Phil. So, you know, in a situation like that, a strange situation where the gap was left to grow for no real reason. Weird. And my worry is that this race is going to split up the four <coughs> before we even get to crunch time. And that would just make things really hard. It would effectively be a time trial from further out than we wanted to be. We only really wanted to be hard at that final mountain. I mean, as long as the leg snappers are hard and nothing else, that'll be okay, but... So the rider's gone straight through us, which is another kind of issue we've got to contend with, because we've lost one rider, which means there's only four of us now. Well, technically we lost two. Yeah, the worry is that I might be left behind on a life snapper. Now I'm not gonna do I'm gonna fall up. I'm not gonna do any work myself. Got to keep one eye on that guy. Seven seconds, because that is a good gap, and he's uh, not going easy. The rider going straight through. Which has caused us to surge again. Yeah, whatever the pack dynamics are. Pecker. Like, ah, um, I don't know if it is dynamics, but I mean, sitting in this group is, feels quite easy. Um, I don't know if that's what the new dynamics is supposed to do, but. Doesn't feel uh, difficult to sit in this 
in these wheels, consider how small the group is. There was a race I did um, offline about a week or so ago and I was in a, in a tour breakaway and I definitely found even riding with that other rider, it was just the two of us, it was definitely easier. Um, like it was obvious when you were sitting on them. Twenty seconds. I guess the question is, like, at what point do you realise that that, you know, the gap is going to get so big that it's uh, too big to pull back? <coughs> I guess that's the question. See what it's like when we go to the like snapper again. Okay, so six watt per kilo, so he's riding a fair bit below it. Okay, let's just lock it.
so it couldn't much couldn't match La Rock. So he's obviously climbing like a lightweight pebble. Now the issue is now what is FPC? Is that are they teammates? Oh wait, there's three of us. Oh that's good news. I was getting worried out, but it was just the two of us. Doesn't look like he's chasing anybody, he's doing 3.7. So it's very strange. Makes a huge effort up the leg snapper and then sits up. A little pull there. Hopefully the four of us will keep working now in uh, harmony until we get to the KLM. Yeah, well, I wouldn't bank on me putting a very good performance in on the final KLM. I mean. You know, it's, it's very unknown at the minute. Judging by my last, uh, well, my last week or so of efforts, I wouldn't have said that I'd be able to do uh, enough watt per kilo to win this race. So the confidence isn't isn't le it's legitimately not there. So.
Well, no, in that situation, I was told to pull turns. So the gap was going out. So I pulled the turn. It just so happened that my rock was off the back by three seconds. Didn't close it quick enough. And then, you know, it is what it is. It can happen to anybody. It can happen to, to me, you know, I've lost, lost my attention or whatever. <coughs> There's not really much I could do about that. The other day, he was smoking me on the leg snapper. And you could argue that my only way to survive it is to get away. <laughs> So, good evening, hello everybody, don't worry we're nearly at the KLM, not far now. <sighs> Plus in the interest of my race, I do feel like I feel a little bit better for doing that effort there then, so. Oh. Still a 30 second gap to the leader though, so there's a lot of work to do. Any future travels? Um, apart from next weekend for the Band of Climbers Harvest 100, which I know a number of you are doing, uh, including some of you in here in the chat. Um, and then the hill climb season, which is almost every weekend until the end of October. I'll be doing cyclocross again, which I'm really excited for. And uh, you know, I've had to turn down one or two travel plans just because of the conflict with hill climb season, which is a little bit sad, but it's a sacrifice I know I have to make. Aside from that, no. Thankfully, we've got a feather for this climb, so. We've got to get out of the jail card here. Oh, that's better. A measured effort.
To be honest, I really like to travel around and do some hill climb event and some cyclocross events. There's not many in the Welsh League, but I really, really enjoyed it. Well, they do, Thomas, but fatigue is measured in many different ways, isn't it? Like, as long as you're not going completely overboard every day, you should still be able to do, you know, a lot more than maybe you think, but... Uh, no, I like to take complete days off. Yeah, that's true though. But as you say, there's a long way away. Internationals, does that mean Welsh people can do it? A two and a half K, three K till the start of the KOM. If you're stuck around this long, you must be enjoying. <laughs> Thank you. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. It's only 50 subs till 20,000. How crazy is that? A long old road.
I needed more headwind power. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen the thunderstorms. Okay, regardless of the outcome of this event, I do want a, a good effort at this final climb, so as much as contributing here would be beneficial to the overall result potentially, I just want to save a little bit so I can get the most out of myself. Um, I don't know what other people want to do in this race, but that's what I want to do. So just making it known if if people are watching the live stream and are in this race at the same time. Hey, thank you, Chalky. Maybe it's because I don't know. Maybe it's because you're uh, able to communicate with the rider. It's, uh, it's a bizarre old, it's a bizarre concept. Okay, got to get myself mentally and physically prepared now to suffer. Ah, cool! You love New Yorker, if you've never been before. How do I do cross-eyed? Okay. <coughs> we might need a lot of head mode up here. I predict a lot of spice. Alright, see if I can remember how to ride this coin.
Well done. Well done to my compatriot there. Oh, I was totally, that was it. I'd, everything had gone. I needed a chance to recharge. Like I, I was incapable of maintaining that effort. I just needed that little bit to recover. But even then, I tried to go again. And I, yeah, it was, it was a real battle today. Uh, still 30 seconds faster up the KOM, but obviously I wasn't with the rider, so you've got to take your hat off to the race craft. They were ahead, and they take the win, but I'm proud of the effort. It was good. It was tough, very tough. I was cooked there at the end. Um, well, I was actually cooked like 90% of the way through that climb, and I was yeah, starting to fight a mental battle as uh, we've all been there. Um, it was good having a ride at a chase, so that's always really, really helpful, I think, regardless of the situation, having a ride at a chase. Um, let's have a look at the damage. We usually have a look at the graph at the end. Just checking back. Thank you for the... Thank you for the shouts. Thanks for the digs. Um, yeah, thank you. Uh, oh, I should really just pedal a little bit just to get out of my system. Let's have a look at the graph here. It will be a pretty, um, pretty colourful graph, I'm sure. Oh. Lots of colour there, peak heart right there, just as I was about to blow, look. You see that 178, which is roughly what I hit in the last size time trial, 175, 178 there. And, uh, you know, it, it goes to show a little bit, because that climb is quite undulating. So you can ride it just like a flat power curve. So in other words, just, you know, stick to one power and ride a bit like that. Um, but the other way is riding harder when the gradient goes up and easier when the gradient goes down. And you can see that in my graph there at the end, like quite obvious. And one thing I noticed that I lack because of all the riding I've been doing over the last couple of months has been very focused around, you know, um, <coughs> endurance, you know, big, big, big rides and big challenges and all sort of things. Um, one thing that's probably slid a little bit is the ability to do that and, and that is something that actually does come quite naturally to me but even when you haven't done it for a while you know it's just like sprinting you, you do notice when you haven't done it for a while that if you try to do it you do notice you lack a little bit so um but you know by doing even just a small dose like that you know that that, that 17 minute climb it's enough to familiarize yourself it's enough to kick start things again and that that's the idea uh, that, that's the idea with a lot of what I'm doing in this first initial phase, this first couple of weeks, getting back into hill climbing, and you know you've got to relearn how to hurt yourself, but also relearn how to finesse, uh, how to ride easier, or not ride easier, but you know moderate that power um, and, and try and become very in tune with it. So um, yeah, we've got a decent. I mean. You can tell the heat in here also plays a part. You know, last night I did 355 watts for 35 minutes, and then tonight now I'm I'm kind of you know hanging on the grim death at 300 uh, 360 for 10 10 to 15 minutes. So a little bit of tiredness in there. Also the heat and everything else when you're inside and being indoors and everything else, but it's still good. It's still very good. So. Oh. Was it the room temperature? Sorry, I missed the. A 4.8 <laughs> average watt per kilo, 148 between. I wish I was young. <laughs> hey, I'm 30 next year. Yeah, it is quite warm, that's right, yeah, it's been warm the last two days, in fact, we've had 25 degrees, which is quite strange. Yeah, emptied the tank the last couple of minutes, that was a little bit, a little bit of the idea, I've still got to be very good at doing that, even when I'm, um, even when I think I've used all of my resources, um, just, just 
trying to have something left there at the end you know even if you think you've got nothing left just trying to to give something you know ha has a little bit of uh, sometimes you think you're done and you're not actually done so it's something something to do at the end there room temperature i would say it's about 20 degrees in here uh, it's usually between 18 and 20. Uh, why don't you want your competitors to know what hill climbs you're doing? Um, well, I mean, I can let people know, um, but I think part of the fun is, you know, a little bit of, you know, I share, I share a lot more than probably maybe some people argue I should, um, and you know, I share the training, I share the what goes into the prep and everything else and and, and the the even just lifestyle stuff. Sometimes it's not even related to cycling at all, but um I don't know, I I kinda of think like keeping the races as a little bit of a surprise until the week before or the two weeks before kind of um gives it that little bit of suspense. Um I mean, I can share what I'm doing, but you know, at the end of the day, everybody's got different priorities and different races they want to target. And uh, uh, funny enough, Jesse, right at the beginning of this video, about 15 minutes in, I did um, I did do the portal, the the crow crow road. I think it was. I didn't I didn't do it all. I just did the first couple hundred meters and turned around. But yeah, you're right. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a look at those. Because that might be something quite quite fun to do. Um. <laughs> Thomas, the Box Hill KOM, it might be a little bit uh, shallow, and and the uh, a lot of races have been up there. Ah, oh, would you like that, Derek? A trip to Innsbruck. To be honest, I'd like to go to Austria to ride my bike. Um, Charlie's actually got uh, a family out there. Um, so may maybe we can organise a little trip out and do some rides. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? I'm, I'm assuming though that the colours on the portal, they they indicate what the actual climb is though, right? They they, indi they indicate the gradient. I suppose that that's the idea. I I don't know, Lord. Uh, I mean, I suppose you're asking the chat. I I haven't been online enough to to know the answer to that. I do, I do actually find it easier to ride in a group, but I don't know, maybe that's just uh, me being, um, I don't know, think, thinking that, you know, just because the, the, the dynamics have changed, I don't know. Um, anyway, we're, we're going to race tomorrow as well, and the weather's going to be really bad tomorrow, so we're going to race tomorrow on Zwift. Uh, I'm going to set up the live stream tomorrow morning, so keep your eyes peeled. Um, it might be like a mid-afternoon, um, so a UK time, like, you know, between 1 and 4 p.m. somewhere around there, so keep your eyes peeled if you're interested, or if you're online yourself, uh, jump in. Uh, it might be a hilly one, it might be a long one, or, you know, a little bit longer than this one, so like two hours maybe. Um, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, it'd be, it'd be good to jump back online again. Yeah, well, we can do it. We can do live commentary at the same time, Jesse. So, I'll I'll have it on my phone next to me so I can watch it at the same time as uh, as the Zwift race. <laughs> it won't be all action all the way through the mountain bike race. So you know you're gonna have to 
You're gonna have to tune in and out, aren't you, so? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Uh, thanks for tuning in. We are getting close to 20,000 subscribers. If you're new here, or if you know a friend who could be new here, then uh, why not share the channel? We need 50 more people, that's it. And um, who knows, I might go and do a, a ride where I climb 20,000 meters. Who knows? Um, I might do something crazy. Maybe not before the hill climbs, maybe after the hill climbs to celebrate it. Um, but yeah, I think it's worth, uh, it's, it's a good milestone. Um, and yeah, to think, to think a couple of years ago, like 2020, I thought, oh, maybe we should do this thing as a bit of a full-time passion, chasing cycling goals solo with the help of other people in a the community, then, yeah, uh, I am actually grateful for every single day. So, thank you so much. And I will catch you tomorrow. If you're not watching the mountain bike. <laughs> Alright guys, I will see you soon.